Okay guys, in this part we're going to talk about the checkbox widget. That's uh, how you can create a checkbox widget in Kiwi. So now let's just, uh, I have created a class checkbox. So it's my main root class. And the first thing I need, I'm going to just import uh, the checkbox class from uh, the Kiwi. So dot UIX dot checkbox import checkbox. After this, I'm going to create a grid layout. So from Kiwi dot UIX dot uh, sorry dot uh, from Kiwi dot UIX dot sorry the from is so from Kiwi dot UIX dot uh, grid layout. I'm going to import grid layout. So now I'm going to just create a new class in here. Uh, I call it uh, uh, check box class. So it extends from the grid layout. Let me add my constructor uh, diff uh, in it and super dot in it. Okay. Now in here, the first thing we need, as we'll learn in the grid layout, we need to create the column for the grid layout. So we are going to just use two column, two. And after that, we need to create our checkbox. So uh, self dot add widget, because I'm extending from the grid layout now, I can easily access to the this add widget using this self keyword so self dot add widget and i'm going also we need to import label so from kiwi dot uix dot label not layout but label we are going to import label so we need to just create a label so uh, for the text i'm going to just give python and uh, now we need to create our self dot check our checkbox checkbox and the active so i'm going to just give it true and also uh, now we need to add this checkbox self dot add widget uh, to the uh, let me just add my checkbox in my layout so self dot check so this was our first uh, checkbox let me just copy this uh, you can add uh, some more checkboxes in here so the label is uh, C++ or whatever you want let me just write Java and uh, self dot check uh, checkbox and uh, it is good uh, let me just copy once more this time I want C++ so checkbox and also we need to uh, return this checkbox class in our main class return and uh, checkbox class so now let me just run this and uh, I'm going to check this okay now you can see that we have uh, uh, so by the default you can see activist true and uh, we have uh, created this uh, checkbox uh, now uh, now I want to show you that how you can handle uh, the click event for this checkbox for example if you click on this how you can uh, add callbacks to the checkbox <clears throat> so now uh, uh, first of all uh, I need to just create a label so I'm going to uh, I have uh, imported label yeah so self dot label and uh, or whatever you want so self dot let me give it my label and the label so for the text I'm going to give it 
label for right now I'm going to just give it label and now I want to add this label to the uh, my widget so my grid layout not my widget I'm going to add this widget to the layout uh, my label and if you run this you will see that uh, I have a layout in my grid a layout uh, I have a label in my grid layout so you can see it's label now when the user checked or check or unchecked uh, the uh, uh, checkbox uh, I want to change the text of this label so for this uh, first of all I'm going to just uh, define a new method in here I'm going to call it on check uh, box active and now you need to give uh, the self and also the instance of your checkbox. I'm going to just give it checkbox. And also we need to give a volume here. Now we are going to check if value. So if value, we are going to just self.myLabel.text. We are going to change the text of the label. And I want to say uh, the checkbox. Uh, the checkbox is active and in the else case I'm going to just say solve dot my label dot text and I'm going to just say the check box is uh, uh, whatever you want is inactive or you can say it unchecked so in uh, inactive so now we have created this method now we need to bind this method in our uh, this uh, uh, checkbox so let me just say self dot check dot bind so dot bind and uh, so you can give active in here and after that you need to add uh, your method in here so diff on checkbox active this is my method so now let me just run this and <clears throat> okay now if I so it's not working okay so because we have uh, um, all our checkboxes just we have self dot check now it's working in our C++ so you can see the checkbox is active and the checkbox is active and inactive. So like this you can use uh, this in Kiwi. Now uh, let me show you that how you can do this in uh, Kiwi file and how you can create the checkbox in the Kiwi file. And uh, you can see that I have already created a checkbox exe.kiwi so it is uh, according to my main this uh, checkbox exe so now I need to comment this class so let me just comment this and let me remove this uh, return okay so now I need to create a new class in here uh, because this time I'm going to use a Kiwi file. So I'm going to just call it class my uh, box layout. And uh, or whatever you want, you can call it uh, um, my grid layout uh, or box layout. Uh, let me just use grid layout so change this to grid layout and not box layout it extends from the grid layout now let me just pause this for right now okay now and in here we need to just return this my grid layout and let me return my grid layout so after this let me just open my Kiwi file uh, I need to define rules for my this uh, uh, my grid uh, layout class that I have uh, created. 
So first I need to just add the version of Kiwi that uh, I'm using. So it's related to what version that uh, you're using, you can just add. And now we need to just define the rules for this my grid layout. Okay, so in here the first thing I need, I need to add columns. So I want two columns. And also let me just add a spacing to 10. Now I need to add a label, define a label, and for the text I'm going to just give Python. And the font size I'm going to just define 30. So also you can give a color if you want, you can just add a color for this label. So this was my first label. Now I need to add checkbox for this label. So uh, you can just simply say checkbox, and uh, and uh, we are not going to add. So uh, you can add color or something else, uh, but we will add callbacks for this. For right now, I'm going to just say checkbox. Now, if I run this, uh, let me just check that I have a checkbox or not a label with a checkbox okay now you can see that I have a label and also with a checkbox and I'm using a grid layout with a, a two columns so now after this uh, we are going to do the same process and we need to just add the same uh, let me just copy this Sometimes when you copy uh, in Kiwi, especially in the Kiwi file, you will receive indentation problem. So it's a good idea to do not copy. Uh, I'm going to just copy because the video will be longer, but you, if you write this, it's a good idea. So uh, now for this, I'm going to just change this to Java. And uh, so you can change the color to what color you want. And uh, like this. So after this, I need to just copy once more because I need to add for C++. And uh, also you can change the color. Uh, let me just change this to 1, 1 and 0. Now let me just run this and check this that I have these three check boxes. Yeah. You can see that now we have successfully created the checkboxes using the Kiwi file. Now, there will be a question in your mind that how you can handle the callbacks for this. Now, the, let me just show you handling, uh, handling the callbacks for this. Okay, now uh, for this, uh, the first thing I need, I need to just create a label in the Kiwi file first. So label and uh, for the text I'm going to just give it uh, uh, label and the font size I want to give it 20. Also because I'm going to uh, right now our main uh, uh, dot pi doesn't know about this label so for this because if you want to access to this label, you need to add an ID for this label. So I'm going to just call it my label. And after this, uh, you need to add, you need to reference this label in your uh, this grid layout. So in here, you need to just reference this. I'm going to call it label, and I want to reference my label. And after this, uh, in our main uh, dot pi, so in here we need to create uh, the method that we want, the callback that we want. So I'm going to just call it diff uh, check box uh, click. Uh, you can give, uh, uh, let me just, this is the instance, you can give it, for example, check box or whatever you want, and this is the volume. And then here we are going to check that if value uh, is uh, true, uh, we are going to just say cell dot label. Uh, you can use this way uh, if you want. If value or you can say value true, there's the uh, 
both are the same and there is no problem self dot label dot text this is the label that uh, I have uh, re referenced it from my uh, Kiwi and I'm going to just say check box checked and in the else case I'm going to just say solve dot label dot text and just check box and checked okay uh, now uh, we've created this callback now we need to just uh, bind this with our checkbox so now we are going to just do this for our all three checkboxes so you can just use on uh, active and root dot you can get the method using the root because uh, we have our root class so checkbox underscore click and in here you need to just add the self the parent and also we are going to use the self dot active active and let me just copy this because we need the this for our uh, three checkboxes now let me just run this and we are going to check that it's working or not so we have invalid indentation so uh, you can see that when you're you doing copy now where is the indentation problem let, let me just uh, remove these uh, two checkbox these two uh, binding even maybe the problem is in there and let me just uh, run it again yeah uh, so also we have error in our uh, coding so no problem first we are going to attribute checkbox click okay we will check this because we have a misspelling in here uh, it is uh, I think like this okay so now let me just copy this and uh, this time I should not receive an error and uh, yeah let me just run it again this time it should work if there is no problem of indentation okay now we don't have any indentation problem now if I check you can see checkbox checked and checkbox unchecked so you can do this for uh, all your uh, checkboxes so like this you can work with a checkbox uh, in Kiwi.